Hi there, today I'm going to talk a little bit more about Google Reader, which is a resource you might have seen me write about before. Um, in fact, there's a page at the top of the Speech Techie blog that has information about subscribing in Google Reader. Today, specifically, I'm going to be talking about a new resource or a new uh, trick you can do in Google Reader, which is you can use bundles and you can share bundles. I think Google Reader is awesome. I'm kind of addicted to it myself. It's a great way to keep all of your blog feeds in one place. And what that means is instead of having to go to the individual blogs, you can put them into Google Reader as subscriptions. And when you're in Google Reader, you're able to see when they've been updated and you can read them right on that one page. If you want to click through to the blog, it's easy enough to do that too. So with the new Google Reader bundling feature, I created a bundle of SLP blogs. And when you go to the link that's right below the screencast, you're going to be able to subscribe to it and put all of those blogs right into your Google Reader. Now the thing about that is you need first to be signed in to Google. It'd be good to have uh, Google Reader open in a separate tab when you do this so that you have two tabs right next to each other. If you need to know how to open tabs, you can simply go File, New Tab, or Command T or Control T, um, and you can go to reader.google.com to open your Google Reader. It's now open twice in my browser, which we don't need. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this feed so you can see some of the things that are included. There's some great blogs here by SLPs, AT Tips Cast, the Ashesphere blog, Speech in the Schools, which is the advanced blog, Easy Speech and Language Ideas, Geek SLP, Lexical Linguist, Mommy Speech Therapy, uh, and so on, all the way down to my own blog here. So if you haven't, if you're already a Google Reader user and you have some of these, it won't duplicate them. So you won't end up with two copies of the feed in your Google Reader. You can just put in, a, if you subscribe, it will subscribe to the ones that you don't have. So what I'm going to do is click subscribe. And now I'm going to go over to my Google Reader. And refresh. And you can see that I now have the SLP blogs folder in my Google Reader. This is actually a Play Google Reader, not my actual one, just so I could show what it looks like when it's blank, and then you put all these in. And so to view, it shows that there's 60 updates total in this entire folder, and to view any of the particular um, ones, there's a lot of activity about the Edgy Blog Awards right now, because there were a bunch of SLPs nominated in that competition, which is a great honor. Um, and to go through the posts, you can simply scroll down. Or I like using the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to type a question mark right now to bring those up. Keyboard shortcuts help you move through Google Reader really quickly. So for example, if I just type a J, it allows me to move to the next post, or K to go back. If I want to star a post, I can just hit an S and see how a star appeared right here so that this post would be in my starred items, which is great if you want to read it later. Um, if you see a post that you like but you really want to just mark it as unread or keep it as unread, it will keep that one as bold. See how it just added the one back over here. It's also really easy with Google Reader to share. Um, you can set up sharing settings, sort of like a network of people on, who have Gmail accounts that you can share it to, or you can email it any item to a particular person um, if you want them to see it and uh, share in that item. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoy the um, SLP Blogs bundle, and if you're interested in creating your own bundle to share with other people, uh, that link is right below the screencast as well on how you can do that. Thanks a lot.